Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy, and this is an, a very positive energy. I'm seeing you getting some good news. Um, you are hearing from someone who you want to hear from. You are getting um, news from someone that you want to hear. Um, I do see this as forward movements. There is a connection here that may be progressing. Things are, you guys are really hitting it off, and this is back and forth communication. So I do see, you know, you guys are communicating on a very compatible level. So this is someone who, you know, you hear from them and they, they respond back and, you know, it's back and forth communication, very passionate communication as well. You guys are both very into each other. So I do see, you know, this is a connection that is, you know, you guys are really hitting it off. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so the first card we have is the full card, and this is Aquarius energy. Next, we have the Ace of Swords, Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And finally, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Okay, so I do see with the Ace of the Ace of Swords and the um the Eight of Wands showing up here together, I do see that this is someone who you have a mental connection with as well. There is a lot of uh, compatible communications happening here. You and this person may really be enjoying yourselves, or enjoying each other um, with this energy. So I do see, um, you know, it's like you guys are about to embark on a new journey. This is someone new who you are connecting with, um, you know, or this is, you know, a new connection. With the Knight of Pentacles, I do see this as a... a, a um, a courtship phase or you know the dating phase the beginning phase of the connection is one that is moving slowly you guys are taking your time getting to know each other this person is also showing up as someone who's very stable with that knight of pentacles this is someone who moves slowly this is someone who wants to get to know you first on a, a mental level as well um, and just get to know who you are as a person before rushing into any sort of commitment so i do see this person taking taking their time and enjoying you and enjoying your company. And um, with the Knight of Pentacles also, this is someone who's grounded, practical um, energy as well. So this person, they do believe in long-term commitments, but they do not rush into them. So I do see um, you may be falling for this person with the full card here. This person, I do see them as someone who's very attractive, um, you know, someone who's... Um, very enjoyable to talk to, a great conversationalist, and this is also how they are viewing you. And with the full card, I do see that um, there's something different about this person. Um, this person, they stand out in some way. They may be very unique, and this may also be the way that they're viewing you. Um, and there is a new journey about to embark on, um, to be embarked on here. And with the full card, this is also showing divine protection. So the, I do see the you connecting with a person who is trustworthy, someone who is reliable, someone who it is. It is safe to fall for this person, um, but I do see that, that you know there is that energy of being cautious, moving slowly. Um, so this could be both of you, or this could be them. You know, just taking things slowly and enjoying your mind, your uh, conversation, your company, and um, you know, really connecting with you on that deep level. Okay, so I'm going to ca let's clarify these cards, Gemini.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Ace of Pentacles and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So definitely this is something with time I do see it could potentially lead to some sort of an offer being presented. Um, this I do see a, commit, a commitment offer with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a solid um, offer. This is, you know, a tangible offer. This is something real. This is, you know, somebody who will, um, you know, it's more than just words. This is commitment. So this is a connection that I do see slowly progressing towards a commitment. Um, and I do see that this person being the one to initiate this commitment, to make this commitment. So this person may still be in the getting to know you stage. And there is a sense that there is a lot of compatibility here. And um, there is an offer that um, will Will be made so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this gemini okay so the first card we have is the king of pentacles and this is earth energy again next we have the queen of pentacles earth energy again and finally we have the six of wands fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy okay so we do have a true pair here with the king and the queen of pentacles so this is definitely a connection where you are very compatible with this person and it is a connection that um is going to be stable um very grounded energy um and i also do see generous energy so that you that you both are showing up as generous people who are secure as well so this person may make you feel very secure and you may make them feel like that as well and also it's it's like you guys make each other more confident um you know you guys are divine counterparts of this king and queen of pentacles energy and i do see a union that could last a very long time because pentacles energy is you know it has that staying power that longevity so i do see definitely a connection here that really has the potential to um prosper into something very successful you could even um find yourself working on some things together because i do see there is also a meeting of the minds when you connect with this person the ace of swords is like you guys like how each other thinks you guys have a similar perspective or way of looking at things or it's a complementary way of looking at things and um you know together you guys really can um build something very uh, successful with the six of wands i do see this as an energy of accomplishing something and being recognized for it so i do see this as an energy that this could be a couple that is um well known or well respected um you know it may be for accomplishing something together or it's just it may even be you guys getting a lot of attention as a couple people may even think you guys look very good together people may be very impressed by you guys or wants to know your secrets um i do see um a couple that um you know is just so um resilient so strong um a couple that looks looks really good um to people even on the outside so this is a, a connection that is really i do see this as a connection that has very good foundation because very grounded rooted energy as well so it's almost like you guys hit it off on um you know this mental level and um you know the, the courtship phase might be a bit slow but it's definitely once this offer is made it's it's serious it's all in with this king of pentacles and queen of pentacles energy so this is someone who matches your energy and i do see people outside see this this people see this as you know it's almost like people admire or wish that they had this kind of connection so you are definitely connecting with someone who really is going to bring out the best in you this is somebody you know who you can really have something solid with okay so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. So the card says your dreams need a practical plan. New full moon in Taurus. Okay, so I do see this is um you know they, I'm seeing you connecting with someone who is going to be very practical about how they go about this. Things are going to start very theorized with the Ace of Swords. I'm seeing lots of mental energy, um, but there will be. It's like I think this person will be the one who grounds this. Um, who we really um 
takes this grounded approach practical approach because this person themselves i do see them being quite a, a practical person and they will be quite um this is someone who likes to plan things so i do see them being quite strategic about how they go about initiating things and they they they, they may be quite conventional or traditional about how they you know the steps leading up to them making this ace of pentacles offer to you so i'm seeing a very practical plan on their part okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you gemini Okay, so the card says choices, knowledge, and illumination. Whites are the flowers of apple tree that brings us fruits of fertility. Okay, so I do see here a meeting of the minds again. You, this is someone who you will have a mental connection with first. Um, there will be a lot of, um, it's almost like a long talking stage before things start to really materialize. But once they do make this offer, this person is going to be all in and, um, I do see a very abundant couple, um, very material abundance, spiritual abundance as well with the king and the queen of pentacles and the, there will be a lot of security in this connection um, and this is emotional security, spiritual security, um, even financial security with this pentacles energy and it's a connection where you will be more confident, um, it's like you guys make each other more confident and there will be a lot of eyes on you in some way, I'm seeing a lot of attention coming your way um as a couple or you may be connecting with someone who gets a lot of attention or maybe in the public eye with the six of wands as well um or one or both of you could be but i do see a lot of spotlight energy okay so that's what i'm seeing for you gemini i hope you have a really good day gemini bye gemini